All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. And today, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new up and coming two star character, Nanaka. Uh, so here I have Nanaka, I have her pulled up on the Princess Connect Redive fandom, I have her pulled up in pre calc since we're going to take a look at her stats as well as her equipment, and then I just have this little banner here to show what's coming after her. So, all right, Nanaka. Now, Nanaka does look to be very, very good. Uh, she has some. Uh, interesting three star art if i could say so myself uh she has some really good damage dealing abilities and i mean she looks all around very good just from taking a quick glance at her all the skills and all their universe she looks really good so let's see what she can do okay so nanaka's strengths and weaknesses so she's going to be a magic attacker slash supporter slash disruptor so her skill one inflicts magic AoE defense down. So this is going to be kind of like a Mitsuki kind of effect. You know, Mitsuki throws out her little field of thorns or whatever it is. And enemies in that range will be able to be hit. And they will have a magic defense down on them. So a very good ability to have one. Uh, her skill two will be a stun. It has a chance to inflict stun. I think it's a high chance uh, to the highest HP opponent, which can cause a decent disruption in PvP. So I feel like this character, Nanaka, okay. She will be an absolutely outstanding PvP unit when she first comes out. Her positioning, what is she, her positioning? She's a backline, so she's a backline character. So she'll be most, for the most part, she'll be out of the way of Halloween Shinobu. This will be so strong. Skill 1, AoE magic defense down. Skill 2, stunning highest HP opponent, which most part will be end up being the tanks, June, Miyako, Kuka. Uh, those kind of tanks will be able to get stunned, which will, for Miyako, that'll stop Miyako from being able to heal herself. Kuka, that'll stop Kuka from taunting and also healing herself on her Union Burst. And then for June, that'll stop June from single target healing as well as defensive shredding your team. So, uh, it, it looks to be a very good ability. Her skill 2 looks good, her skill 1 looks great already, and her Union Burst does really good damage. I mean, that's really all you can ask for from a 2-star. I mean, this 2-star character, just from taking a brief overview at her, she looks to me like to be a secret three star character like this character is ridiculous so here is her little universe animation here let me go ahead and zoom in for you guys so you can see it this animation actually does look really really good um she does like a little summoning circle thing yeah look at that dude that looks so good and then she blasts him it's like it's like kyoka's universe but way cooler <laughs> so that actually does look sick now that that is out of the way union burst does look nice massive magic damage based on the current hp target once again this is going to be good for melting tanks but i think this can be taunted away because i know tamaki she targets the magic character like the highest magic attacker and she could still get her ability taunted and taken away from her so i feel like taunts does outscale this but i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong if not then this union burst is absolutely broken anyways she looks to be a very very good pvp character uh her full abilities everything about her looks nice she does get a nuke equipment as well as a six star and without a unique equipment and literally like a three star level four star level five star level in clan battle today in today's meta on the japanese game who keep in mind this game is two years ahead of us She's still an all-around B-tier character. I feel like that's absolutely ridiculous. With her unique equipment, she's sitting at an A-tier in Arena and Glam Battle. And then with her 6-star, S-tier Luna Tower, S-tier in Glam Battle, A-plus tier in Quest. So she looks to be very good all-around. I can see her strengths mostly coming into play for game modes like PvP. But she looks like she's going to be good in Clan Battle. I mean, providing defensive shredding is not like a joke or anything. If you have her at a 5-star level, will she be out-damaging Kyoka? I'm not too sure. Like, let's we'll take a look at her stats and compare it. But I I don't know. She she shreds magic defense for one. She's also stunning. Could inflict stun. She has a chance to stun. And this will be good for PvP as well as main quest mode. So that's awesome. She just looks to be an all around great character, and she hits really really hard. Uh, yeah, man, Nanaka looks really good. So she will be the next up and coming banner character as we can see nanaka will be coming on november 11th yeah november 11th and then chris machika will be on the 22nd nanaka dude i'm not gonna lie to you guys i feel like this is a first character ever a first two star character in my opinion a first two star character where i'm legitimately gonna say that if you summon for her it, it might not be a horrible idea she is in theory she is still a two star character and you can easily skip this banner 100 percent in my opinion at least but i'm probably gonna have to make a separate video going over should you summon or skip nanaka 
especially when she comes out because man she looks really damn strong i like easily gonna be the most powerful two star in the entire game and yeah i'm just from looking at at her kit looking at her universe animation and the overall damage and the rating that the, the people give her on the fandom she looks to be like insane so all right let's get this out the way let's move on to pre-calc and take a look at her stats so i'm gonna put her at a two star level then i'll do three star four star and then five star so this is gonna be rank 115 because that's the next level cap they're gonna be getting and then rank 11-5 because once again, we're going to be getting 11-5 in terms of equipment. Um, all right, so his stat level at a two-star, obviously not going to be the greatest. 180 magic deep. Whoa. Okay, so she's got really high magic defense. Her physical defense is at 82. So her physical defense does suck. So Tamaki definitely will be shredding this character up. Um, so just keep be on the lookout for that. If she gets hit with a Tamaki in your bird, she's dead. So yeah, let's take a look at her. Her power level is gonna be eleven thousand. Okay, at a at a at a two star, she's at eleven point two thousand at a two star. That is ridiculous. For her skills, she's gonna be doing thirty nine thousand magic damage to the highest HP target, lowering magic defense by fifty six for twelve seconds. That's really good. That's gonna be pretty useful. Actually, super useful. And then 11,000 magic damage to the highest HP enemy. And then a 1.5 second stun to the highest HP enemy. And then increasing her magic attack. So, wow. She's going to be hitting super hard. Shredding defense. She looks to be amazing. Defenses look okay at a 2-star. Let's take a look at, at 3 stars. So, this is me, her 3-star. Let's make her bond at 8, of course. So, now she goes up to 98 physical and 194 magic. This is obviously way better. Very good. Power jumps up to 12,000. Her <laughs> ultimate attack jumps up to 43,000. Very strong. This stays the same at 56. This goes up to 12,000. So she just gets more damage. Very strong. Let's take a look at 4 star. 113 physical, 209 magic. Very good. 45,000 magic. And then 13,189 magic damage. And then at a 5 star level, 129 physical, 224 magic. Okay, so yeah, her, her defenses at 5 stars definitely is really good 224 magic 129 physical this is really high for a backline carry magic carry having these balanced stats i feel like it's going to really benefit her and just for the sake of it i'm gonna pull up kyoka here and we're gonna compare her to kyoka so just remember this does 48,000 on her ultimate let's take a look at kyoka what does kyoka at a five star do i think she does it a little bit higher oh no oh no kyoka uh, Kyoka does 43,280. So she actually, at a 5-star level, we have a 2-star character hitting harder than Kyoka. That is ridiculous. Now, obviously, that is still not really too crazy, but she's lowering magic defense. So she's lowering magic defense. She has one of the hardest-hitting ultimates in the entire game, right? This this is insane. Let's put her at bond level 8. 48,000, okay? 14,000 magic damage, she stuns, she defensive shreds, and wow. Okay, so she is a secret three, this character is a secret three star, straight up. She is a secret three star character, I, I don't care. She This character is a secret three star, her defense is 129, 224, amazing defenses all around. Uh, she doesn't really need super high physical, considering she's a backline carry. So this being 129, 224 is amazing. Her being at 224 magic defense is insane. But yeah, she looks to be crazy good. Uh, I don't know what else to say about her really then. I would not blame you if you summon for this character, straight up. It, you can Divine Ammo up to 5 stars, and I feel like she would be better in Kyoka than Kyoka. In some scenarios, I feel like she straight up is just stronger than Kyoka. Maybe in Clan Battle? We'll see. Um, lowering magic defense, so she's going to be... On top of her already having a higher multiplier, she's going to be defensive shredding and helping out the entire team with their damage. I genuinely feel like this character might be stronger than Kyoka at a 5-star level. We'll, we'll just have to see. That's just my theory at the moment from seeing the numbers and all that stuff. If she has the magic defense active and she hits him with the ultimate, I feel like it's going to be hitting harder than Kyoka. But Kyoka does give herself a boost to her own magic attack. Right down here, let's do, let's do Bonable 8. 44,000. She raises her magic attack by 3,248. More than likely, this will be probably the same amount of damage. I would just say this is probably going to be doing the same amount of damage. I don't know. I, I Dude, she's crazy good. So that's pretty much going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. 
Peace out. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, everyone.